Hi there, my name is Samantha Pena and I'm a scientist in the park. I monitor and study cyanobacteria in the Virgin River and its tributaries here in Zion National Park. This video is part of a video series about cyanobacteria. In this video, we're going to be discussing how park scientists study and monitor cyanobacteria. Although cyanobacteria is a natural part of life here in Zion, it can harm people and pets. So that is why park scientists are studying and monitoring it to better understand it. Scientists, like me, look for cyanobacteria so that we can monitor and measure where it's found in the park. Both in areas where we see cyanobacteria and farther away from them, we use spat bags to measure how much cyanobacteria and cyanotoxins are in the water. SPAT stands for Solid Phase Absorption Toxin Tracking. Try saying that five times fast. These specially treated cloth bags are crucial because they help identify and measure cyanotoxins in the water over time, and not just during a single test. In areas where we see cyanobacteria, we walk through it to simulate someone hiking or playing in an area with cyanotoxin producing cyanobacteria mats. After we walk through the mat, we collect a water sample to measure how much cyanotoxins is in the water. We use these and other monitoring techniques so that we can share up-to-date advisories about the park's waterways. So take advantage of the research we're doing by checking out our current recreational advisory levels and reading signs like this one. Or check out our website or speak with the ranger so that you can make informed decisions when recreating in Zion National Park. If you think that you've been exposed to cyanobacteria and are feeling ill, seek immediate medical attention and contact the Utah Poison Control at 800-222-1222. If this is a medical emergency, call 911. For more information, you can go ahead and click on the link below and check out the other videos in this series. Until next time.